Hello everyone, uh, Snipe Trading here. Uh, today is Tuesday, May 14th. I'll be wearing my recap for today. Um, so today I, I uh, was up. Uh, and then I give up my profits because I didn't follow my plan, uh, didn't wait for the triggers to happen, and got in a little too early. So let's get started here. Uh, I'm gonna go from the bottom up this time. So I uh, had Uber. Um, so this was a $6 loss, but pretty much what I saw here was uh, a little kind of flag break uh, when prior um, prior uh, resistance here became support so I went ahead and drew this line and bought this on uh, and I didn't like the immediate move so I ended up stopping out uh, I ended up moving just a little bit um, and kind of chopping around here so uh, that was just a six dollar loss uh, next trade was Roku so Roku um, it was trending up in the morning uh, and then there was this uh, 8150 50 area which was the high in the uh, morning here and then it became um, support here so you, you can see it's the uh, head and shoulders here uh, or a cup and handle uh, and then I went ahead and short that and I think that was the five minute break so you can see it's a five minute uh, 90 MA break uh, and then my target was pretty much the VWAP or the this support here here um, for the 15 minute EMA there. Um, that was just a $15 winner or a $41 winner. Uh, my next trade was uh, NVAX. So NVAX had this um, support around the 730 area. Um, I, I saw it breaking the support. Um, you can see it's lower, uh, lower highs. And then uh, when it broke support slash uh, VWAP, I went ahead and got in short there. It was a little hard to get filled because the SSR was on. So I had to um, keep trying uh, along the way here. Um, but eventually I got filled uh, around 6, 7, 23 area. I uh, went ahead and cover at 7 and then 680s. Um, and then I went and re-added those. Uh, with my stop off of these highs so um, I was hoping for it to create another leg down that's why I added here um, but what eventually happened was it created a double bottom and created a lower lower high lower high around this area so there's a lower high here so I was thinking okay maybe it's gonna do a cup of handle and then break down uh, but it held it, so I went ahead and stopped out when it broke both these highs there. And, and then it went back up to 710. Um, and then eventually this pretty much became resistant throughout the day. Uh, that was a $41 winner uh, on NVAX. So Mara, um, Mara was uh, a gapper in the morning and it was creating this uh, flag in the morning. Or a cup and handle. I went ahead and tried to buy this break, uh, but because it was really the range wasn't that much, uh, I actually had a lot of slippage. So my, my my trigger ordered, and then I think I bought three cents, which was like that, which was pretty wide comparing to the range it's moving. So uh, I didn't like the entry I have there, um, and then when it popped up, it went ahead and broke below that uh, breakout area which I didn't like as well um, and then you have a lot of red candles so I stopped out there um, and luckily I stopped out because eventually this big move happened here um, but I took a $25 loss there um, and usually when the breakout happens you want to see it consolidate kind of towards the high end and then continue higher or at least hold this as prior prior support or uh, prior resistance as support and creating a higher low to break out again um so so i was up yeah uh, fifty dollars um and then i give it away with byd
Um, so this is a good lesson to learn, um, to just follow your plan and wait for your triggers. Um, so I was interested in this because there was like a 15 minute, it was, I see it was getting close, uh, following the 15 minute trend here. And when it helped, when it broke down here, I was waiting for that to pop up and then hopefully God give me a signal there for me to enter. But eventually it held. Um, so what happened was because it held, um, I was hoping for this cup and handle to form here. Uh, but I went ahead and started short early, early, and I ended up stopping out when it broke these highs. Um, so that was a $50 loss because I got in early there. Um, it didn't, it didn't um, trigger me to get in, which was this here, uh, this break. If it formed a break here at the 676.9 area, um, but it held and it continued higher um, and it went as high as three points higher. So that's a good stop. Um, so you have to be really disciplined to stop out. So overall, um, all this trade uh, just down a buck today. Um, is really still market out there um, today. Um, hopefully tomorrow will be better. Um, and gotta keep following my plan to be disciplined to wait for those triggers to form um, and that those patterns to form at the trigger points. So as always, uh, I would like to thank everyone for watching. If you like my content, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thank you.